Uh, we're joined on Trips Player by uh, new signing Lee Molyneux. Lee, welcome to Morecambe Football Club. Thank um, you very much. You've had. Uh, I'm going to go. I'm going to go with your uh, with your recent past, and uh, obviously your um, shall we say your your nice spell you had at Accrington Stanley. <laughs> um, it says I uh, do some history on you. It says uh, it says on Wikipedia that you were uh, uh, originally a fullback, but the arrival of Lawrence Wilson forced you further forward. Is that correct? Yeah, um, that is correct. Um, Lawrence will probably tell you as well. He claims that I can only score when I he plays behind me. Well, that's a good sign. Isn't it? That's a good it sign. It is a good for us, sign. Yeah, it? definitely a good sign. Because yeah. obviously Willow, well, from our point of view, Willow's been uh, he's been here a lot of years and then left for, yeah. for what he thought was better things, and he would say now that it didn't work out for him, and that's just the way of football. But he, we seem to get the best out of him here, so let's hope he can do the same for you. Yeah. What? So that's me. We daft question out of the way. <laughs> what? What prompted you to uh, to sign for Morecambe Football Club? Presumably you were on loan at Tramie, you had offers there, you had other offers coming in? Um, yeah, I mean, I would have had an extension with the, um, if the Tramie stayed in the league. Didn't happen, um, so I'd become a free agent. Um, there's slight interest, but the manager here, you know, we'd spoke briefly in the past as well about maybe coming here when I was available for loan at Crew and. So he's always took a keen interest in me and we spoke at the end of the season and he outlaid his vision for the club and, and where he, how he wants to take the club forward and you know ultimately the managers he, he's turned me head and, and made me want to sign. Well that's always a good sign because uh, most, of, most of our recent signings in the past sort of two or three years it's all been down to Jim and his, his um, animal magnetism, his personality, whatever you want to call it because I know he keeps a uh, fingers in lots of pies. From your point of view, um, sounds hopefully like a positive move for you because you'll have Willow behind you. Uh, um, wh- where do you see yourself in best position now? Do you still because obviously you started off as maybe some more more defensive minded, but I've just been told you're going to be wearing the number ten shirt this year, which is pretty forwardy. I'd yeah, imagine. definitely. Um, you know, I'd like I said, I had success when I got moved into a wider position at Accrington. You know, I, I, I scored a fair few goals there, went back on loan, scored more goals there, so I definitely see myself in them, those forward positions on on either wing or even in behind that striker, you know. But I, I think you get the best out of me by playing the attacking half and by trying to create and, and score goals. Yeah, I seem to remember, I mentioned when I was talking to you before we were on camera, the fact that... Um, you you might well have got fouled a few times by uh, by Morecambe players when you last played for Accrington against us because that was a particular I think that was probably an eye in performance for Jim I think if you class that as your rehearsal that was a good game that day for you wasn't it Yeah well I don't think Morecambe had the best day and <laughs> and and things come together for us on that day um, yeah I scored two goals and assisted two goals as well that night so thanks for rubbing it in <laughs> No I'm definitely not rubbing it in I. I hope those. Um, I hope I know that the club haven't beat Accrington in the league, and yeah, uh, I think it's something. Period, I think. I think something the manager definitely wants to avenge and and look forward to playing against them this year. So a, se- a serious question now, um, from our, our point of view, um, Jim. I spoke to Jim before today, uh, and he was of the opinion that you you may, you basically have never fulfilled your potential. And he hopes that you fulfil it here because he thinks, hopefully, somebody putting an arm around your shoulder and developing you as a player. Because yeah. um, obviously, you, you've had you've had quite a lot of you know you've had, you've, you've yeah. been Everton, Southampton, Port Vale, Accrington, Plymouth. Plymouth. <laughs> you know, you've had quite a few. Yeah. And is that because you've never really set it anywhere, or is it because you've never really given the chance, or is it because yeah. is it because you were classed as a fullback or a defensive yeah. player, and now you've changed into somewhere a bit more attacking? Do you think? Possibly. Um... I think I left Everton too young, I, you know, I was 19, but at the time, um, I know the players now with the 21s lead, they get a lot more time to develop, um, at 19 then it was either you're in the first team or you're not, but I wish it would have stayed a few years longer, maybe went out on loan instead, went to Southampton, you know, there was problems there, I played a few games in the Championship, but I... I wasn't the player I am now, you know. Yeah. I know the game more now, I was just 
roaring young and come from straight from academy football basically yeah. into first team I, I wasn't ready um, again moved on to Plymouth uh, Peter Reid the scouts were there uh, he liked me um, played but again couldn't find much consistency with being young I was I, I felt like I was through in at the deep end and yeah. had some good games some bad games and then come to Accrington they showed a bit of faith in me and um, like you said, um, Paul Cook gave me a chance. Liam took me under his wing. Um, so yeah, I, I I've signed two years here, and I I hope to be settled and and stay here for two years and and kick on. From from your point of view, we, if you like, Jim has a history of um, if you like pulling in people who have been not fulfilled the potential and. Uh, hopefully help them settle down. He has got history yeah. that. Jamie Devitt's done that here, Sean Bailey's done it here. They've both suffered uh, from different clubs, different managers, you know, whether it fallouts, stuff like yeah. that. It, it's funny being a footballer, isn't it? Because there are lots yeah. of things that can affect you. Do you think yeah. now you've been, if you like, coming into your prime, that you're, you're now better equipped to succeed? Yeah, definitely. I mean, you know, I've got, I've got over 100 league games under my belt now and most of them in this league so I, I missed a lot of football as well um, so you know I'm like you said I'm getting into a good age now and I'm understanding the league and, and what I need to do so you know with signing here for two years with the gaffer and, and Kenny they, they they believe in me they, they know my qualities and what position they see me playing and that's the position I want to play in so Hopefully, like you said, a little arm around my shoulder, a little kick up the backside sometimes. When you know when needed, when you need to push on, you know I'm I'm open to do good things. Yeah. So from the old point of view, you're uh, you're from Highton originally. Yeah. You'll fit in in the dressing room, all right. This is giving a knowing look to the camera. You'll fit in the dressing room, all right. Um, uh, from our point of view, there's quite a few characters in the dressing room <laughs> who I'm sure you're familiar with. Yeah. Uh, Barrett Roomwire, Sean Bailey, but also Kevin, the super caliber Kevin Ellison, who's uh, got another 12 months here, so um, we've not got yeah. rid of him yet. And he, he <laughs> tends to rule the roost in the dressing room. Um, yeah. are, you, are you the dressing room banter person, or are you just the quiet one who sits reading his programme? Oh, I'd, I'd like to get involved. I'll leave, all, I'll leave all, Kev can take control of the changes, though. I wouldn't like to mess with him. <laughs> um, but no, I'll, I'll get involved, you know what I mean? When it's time to work, it's time to work. But I think that's a massive part of, in any squad, you, you need a good team spirit. Um, you need characters. You'll always get quiet ones, you'll always get loud ones. So I'm sure there'll be a good blend here and, and a few laughs in there. So, final question. Obviously, you've sorted this out pretty quickly. There's been no, we're, we're still in. Well, yeah. virtually just the second week in May, yeah. and usually these things sort of uh, I'm used to doing these things in June and July yeah. uh, as we're coming in. So it's it's going to be quite a nice summer for you, isn't it? Because you uh, you think, well, yeah, keep yourself fit and yeah. have a bit of time. Yeah, yeah, definitely. And I've got two daughters now as well, so um, it'd be nice to be able to relax a little bit and and spend time with them and look forward to the new season. Like you said, um, it's been done early, but. I just had a good feeling, gut instinct, and I didn't want to wait, wait round really for other offers and you know what ifs and maybes and the gaffer here he's shown faith and we've had a good chat and like you said he's he's outlaid everything so I just felt felt it was right and I thought there's no point waiting round listening to other clubs when the gaffer's told me everything I want to hear basically do you know what I mean and and I agree with him on all of it. And, I'm looking forward to it now. So, I lied, it's not the final question. Do you set, are you going to set yourself a target for, you know, 20 assists, 10 goals? What's it going to be, you know? Well, you don't have to, yeah. you know. You need to be honest and say, no, I don't know what I'm going to do. But yeah. um, are you that sort of person who's target driven? Because I know the, the one thing Jim does, he does set targets for yeah. all the forward players. So. I, I guess I'll set my own targets and. Keep them to yourself. <laughs> yeah, and I'm sure the manager will set targets for me as well, which. I hope to achieve, but I hope to play consistently and, and tune in good performances, create goals, score goals, So, and hopefully the team can kick on again. We finished strong last year, so 
Very. Not 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 too far off the playoffs, and I think with the players he wants to bring in and getting the squad sorted early, I think gives us every chance. Well, welcome to the club. Um, it's like I say, it's unusual that we're doing uh, such good business so uh, early in the club season, but it's it's nice that you've that you've uh, taken the plunge. I hope it works out for you. you. We will catch up again with you probably before the season starts yeah. to see you. Uh, See how Chris is doing with his pre-season training. And you, have to, you have to lose half a stone and get your head shaved to go faster or what have you. Um, it, my last little comment is obviously, uh, it went on a bit of Wikipedia, and you're classed as a bit of a dead ball specialist, is that right? I've scored a few in my time. Um, something I like to practice on as well, so yeah, I'll, I'll keep doing that this year. And, Hopefully the gaff will give me the nod to get on a few free kicks. You can impress him in training, can't you? Yeah, I hope. <laughs> <laughs> well, welcome to the club, Lee. Thanks, Thanks for talking to us. Best of luck. A yeah. um, couple of hat-tricks would be nice. <laughs> <laughs> I know, yeah. One more and that, that'll be three. Oh, there you go, then. That's, it. that's your target. Yeah, that, that's my target. That's just from Shrimp's player. <laughs> Thanks very much. Though. Thanks for talking to us. Cheers, kid. Nice one, mate. That's good. Thank you. Cheers,